Um, this is Nick checking in. I'm going to show you guys a little footage of some rooms down in Atlanta. Well, this one is technically in Douglasville. You'll see in a second. So, I was able to get some footage of one of my, you know, I would call them a friend, but somebody that's, we have a, like a Baltimore crew, Atlanta crew, uh, more of a mentor. Um, and he, this is his rooming house down in Atlanta. He uh, has about 40 rooms, if I understand it correctly. He manages, well, he owns like 40 rooms for him. And he has a team of people, and I think they manage together more rooms than the 40. Um, and this is his 10 room rooming house. He took over a rooming house that wasn't performing as well and got it uh, performing. I think he had nine people in there. Um, the one person had to move out because um, they don't allow, and we don't allow, uh, kids in the rooming houses too much liability. So uh, the girl, she was in there for a while and said it got pregnant. So he's almost completely rented it out. And as you can see, the room is almost like a studio apartment in my opinion. It's a little funky with the kitchen and the, um, with the sink and the bedroom part, but it's nice. Um, he rents that room out for $200 a month, a week, $200 a week, so, so you can get a feel for the prices. For those who understand, a rooming house is a basically like a college. Think about a college like Fred House, but no one knows each other. You got all the rooms are rented out in the individual house, and the landlord pays the most times the utilities like the water and they offer some amenities like Wi-Fi and cable as well and your one monthly weekly or bi-weekly fee or rent uh, pays for all your living expenses pretty much like your everything's included in that fee so for the $800 a month the person will get the utilities electric water Wi-Fi cable for $800 a month they wouldn't have to worry about anything else. They just paid eight hundred dollars and whatever bills they want to have on top of that. So that's what they do down there. That's what we do up here. I would say the biggest difference from what they do down there is the location of their rooming houses, and probably the thing that's making the most difference is the the mental team that they have down there, like the brain trust they got down there, who's down there running it, and they're grinding and they're just grinding it out and they're killing it down there. Um, I would say location, this is something that we can take into effect, like if we pick up another room in house, we would probably put them closer to, um, for example, in the Baltimore City, we might pick one closer to like Morgan, or a property closer to maybe like Loyola, University of Baltimore, maybe Coppin, and maybe try and target some students, or some graduate students, grab something maybe close to like um, St. Agnes, and you know maybe try and market to people who are working at the hospital something like that where it's like we're buying the house and not marketing we're going to market to everybody of course but like we have like a built-in niche of people we can just feed off of funnel off of you know we can go to the hospital maybe on a bulletin board post hey we got these rooms here and or we can go to the school and say hey we got these rooms here you know you know what i mean something like that versus our rooming houses right now, they're just like randomly in different neighborhoods. You know, it wasn't, the rooming house, these houses became rooming houses after they were purchased to be rental houses. So this is, they weren't bought with rooming houses in mind. So I feel like some of the issues that we have are because of that. So if you're gonna pick up a rooming house, maybe pick one in the area that's a little bit, um, just do it by design. Purchase with the intent of making it a rooming house and I feel like you will get better results. We haven't done this, but that's what they do down there and they're having excellent results. And also, um, with the, those 40 units, as you can see, the house is very clean, very kept. Um, they do things like, um, he has like the house rules posted, he has some security cameras around, and all those things help a lot, but I, I would probably have to say, tip my hat off to them, that the number one thing that they do a lot better than we do is that they got the management team in place um my, uh, my Atlanta mentor you know he has uh, a team of people under him and they go around to the houses handle the rents x y and z you know they go mop up if there's like a spell or something during the day they when they're over there it's just to have people 
constantly working on it during the day hours because right now I work during the daytime. I don't mind going there after work, but some days I have class, so it's kind of tough. I might never be able to get over there until 10 o'clock. Uh, let me say this, we do have dedicated maintenance people that go over there and fix any issue, but um, right now we don't have somebody who can pop over in the middle of the day or even sometimes pop over in the middle of the night, like 2 o'clock to see how the house is moving, how it's really the real rhythm of the house, how it's really running, how, you know what I mean? The, the real life blood of the house. So that's something that we need to pick up and we need to improve. So I would say what they do better is rent the house, um, the team, the management and all that. I would say um, the house is probably in better locations and they just do little things like, like I said, where they have little things that we can implement today that we can get better at. We can put house rules up. And we can also put the Wi-Fi code up, something like that. That way, that that's one less call, one less text we have to give people. It's on the wall, go look at it. Or someone's acting up, hey, you know the rules, go stop that. You know what you're supposed to be doing. And then the second thing is, I would say, security cameras. That would probably help us because we had an issue where, you know, some people were staying there and we're supposed to be staying there. If we can get a, a view of who's coming in and who's coming out of our houses, that's going to make a difference because we should know who's coming in who's coming out of our houses. Not in their rooms, but just on the outside of the door, seeing who's coming in who's coming out, who shouldn't, because um, we had some things stolen out of a couple of the rooms. Nobody knows what's going on. We can pull out the cameras. Like, some, somebody sold a bed. You know, we can go look at the cameras. Hey, this tenant sold a bed because we take their social security number. Hey, you know, social security number. We could maybe take some action or at least know or somebody's breaking in like legit breaking in we can know like hey somebody legit broke in and maybe you know that information could be helpful in finding something out you know what i mean uh but that's something we can implement today i would say i don't want to give them because we got like a friendly friendly definitely friendly competition they're blowing us out of the water I'll say one thing that we kind of got going is i think in all the houses we have like the little keypad locks where we don't have to manage a lot of keys I mean, it, that's 99 to 1, you know, and I think uh, we actually got the idea from them. I think they just have a little bit of trouble implementing it. They have the all for additional revenue. All washing machines and dryer are like the coin operated ones. So that's something because two of the rooms, two of the houses don't have coin operated washers and dryers. If we could put that in, that'll probably cut back on the water bill. Nobody's just throwing two t-shirts and a sock and a washing machine, you know what I mean? They're washing, you're gonna have to pay them for it, you're gonna value it more, so that's some things that we can implement um, readily and then in the future, strategically buy houses to be rooming houses. Don't just convert old houses to rooming houses unless it makes sense based off of location. So those are some things we're gonna try. This is an update on the rooming houses. Atlanta is a, a beautiful place. Uh, seems like a good place to do business. Um, they're having a lot of success. That's why I say it's a good place to do business because I don't want any of those negative comments. Um, I also would like to say, it's, you know, it's a nice place. Might look at getting a spot down there or something. Uh, real estate price-wise, I feel like it's like the same prices as Baltimore, comparable. Uh, the rents, you know, might be 10, 15 percent cheaper maybe, and um, the houses down there, like the rents, might be 10. 15% cheaper, maybe. It seems like it's like the same. So this is Nick checking out.